Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go it's been a while guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is not any kind of day, it's a travel day. We are off to Orlando. Yep. So, we bit about the trip. This is uh, the trip we booked in 2019. As with a lot of people, um, it has been a long time coming. Um, it's had many variations this trip, um, including Disney cruises, staying at Disney hotels, staying at this. But, what we're doing is we're flying um, Icelandic Air or Iceland Air, Icelandia. Um, Icelandia, Manchester to Reykjavik, Reykjavik on to Orlando, and we're staying at the Rosen Inn at Point Orlando on International Drive. We have booked our Disney tickets, we haven't got anything else booked, and we're just going to see how it goes, go with the flow. It isn't our first time going, so basically we figured why not try some new things, chill out, see how we go. It's been a busy time of it lately. Um, you haven't really seen us a lot, I got a promotion at work so I've been kind of settling into that because not only did I get a promotion, I moved like sites, everything like that and I had a lot to learn so it's been eventful, eventful yes, so it's been yeah. a lot. Um, so we are just about to leave, we are staying at the Crown Best Western Hotel. Crown Plaza Hotel, Cresta, Cresta uh, something or other, uh, it's in Altingham. Um, on Church Street. I don't know how I can't remember the full name, but I can remember what it is. Um, I would say that the it's kind of dated a wee bit tired, but for the price we paid, like we're all right about it. For the one night. For me, the pillows were a bit hard and stuff, so that's something I, remember. I thought I'll do a quick scoot round the room so you can see what it was was like. We have already stayed next. We stayed here last night, but as I say, we're just about to leave. And I'll show you about the room so you can see what it's like in case you want to stay here if you're going to Manchester. Yeah? So this is the bathroom, like the whole entire bathroom. Shower, bath, toilet, sink, um, the rack with shampoo and the towels obviously were there. As I say we've been in. Um, coming through here you've got a nice big TV on the wall. You've got tea and coffee making facilities an area to do your makeup and get ready or if you've got office work or anything to do uh, a chair which has seen better days to be honest with you but it was useful to sit my stuff on and um, you've got a nice size bed uh, excuse the mess obviously we've slept in it um, for me as I say the pills will probably be a bit too hard mattress was not too bad for you yeah it was fine um, and then there's another beach here and a wardrobe round there. Um, what I will say is, that's the nearest plug to the bed. There is none either side at all, so we just put our phones on charge. I just set an alarm this morning and got up and put our phones on charge so that we had full charge for today. So, we're back then. Let's get to the airport. Um, Time is now um, uh, quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. So we need to get going because we've booked the car park for ten. It's about fifteen minutes away. So let's get going and we'll see you <coughs> at the car park. Right, we're on. We're in the plane. It's a big time jump. Um, what a saga it has been um, to get to this point. Um, we parked our car. We parked at the jet. Three parks, so you take your keys with you. You park, you take your keys with you, you get like a shuttle to the airport. It takes like five minutes, something like that. It was actually really good. Quite hard to find a space, so it was very busy when we went. Um, and it was only like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from the hotel, which was really good. Get to the airport, and there is an absolutely massive um, school party in front of us. And uh, the rooms are all you're behind a school party. I'm like, great. <laughs> I mean, all for that, but wow. Um, so eventually she moved us into this other queue so we could try and get to it quicker. We arrived at the airport about 10.20, 10.30, and from there, we were in the queue for an hour just to try and get checked in. Um, and eventually managed to get checked in. The, and then got security, it was absolute chaos. 
So by the time we actually got to the gate, it was about 10 past 12. So that's us on the flight. So we haven't really had an opportunity to update you on how we've been doing, what's been happening, how the experience has been, anything like that. Because we've not had an opportunity or the time to. Um, how's your thoughts on the so far? Oh, it's been a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we are currently uh, in our seats. Uh, we've got extra leg room, so you can see we've got arms and loads of room. Seats are pretty comfy as well. Um, so they are. So, yeah. <coughs> get a wee window seat as well, so get a wee bit of taking off action. Um, the staff have been really nice. To be fair, they have been really nice. Um, but we're looking forward to getting there, I think, is the, the thing. Um, it's been an experience. Everything that you hear about Manchester Airport, it's all true. All true. It's a, so, <laughs> it's a bit of a disaster, to be fair. Um, would I pay the extra money to go via London? Who knows? We'll see when we get yes. there. Robert right now is saying yes. So, let's get to taking off. We're currently sitting at the gate for our connecting flight to uh, Orlando from Kelvin, Kelv uh, basically the one that's outside Reykjavik. Uh, can't see it, not gonna lie. Uh, so let's go be a bit of a lowdown on what's been happening. So get to Manchester Airport for our one o'clock flight at half past ten, thinking that'll be plenty of time. Um, like that was when we were in the the queue to check in half past ten, not just arriving at the airport. We're actually standing in the queue at half past ten. Eventually gets through check out because we're standing behind a big massive queue of like a whole school pretty much. Um, and then gets to security. That's an absolute nightmare. It takes forever. And we get by the time we get through security, checked in, get through security, it is um, God twelve and we get to our gate, straight to our gate and it's ten past twelve. And then about ten minutes, fifteen minutes later start boarding, didn't they? Robert didn't even have time for his pre game beer, his pre flight beer that he likes to have. And um, we hadn't had anything to eat. Grabbed a sandwich at boots, so it's been a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Currently we're thinking we're not going to fly this route again. But we'll wait and see, we'll give it some time. 
um, I would say that the some of the seats are quite small for somebody like me who's quite clearly plus size. Uh, the seats are quite small, so if you're like me, I would be aware of that. However, if you upgrade, the seats are like double the size. We just went in economy, um, so that's something to be aware of. Um, so we're just going to be sitting here very well. We've got an hour to the flight leaves. But we came to our gate so that we're nearby it. Um, and uh, that's about it. Till we take off now. We're on the plane. It's uh, nearly take off time. I think we're running behind again. But I have to say, these seats are much better. Much roomier, much more comfier. Um, we're in an exit row this time. There's loads of room. Again, leg room, everything like that is great. Like room was getting last one, but the seats were just a bit narrow, you know? Um, so, you get six, seven, six hours or something like that, to Orlando. So, there we go. So, they don't have to boo many movies. I'm just kind of scroll through what they have. There was no in-flight entertainment on the, the flight from Manchester to, um, like, Iceland. So, as you can see, there's not too many. There's a few Disney, which you'll probably end up watching. TV as well, cartoons, uh, things like that, Gilmore Girls, lots of but a few different bits and bobs um, there, and then you've, there's music as well, but there isn't a terrible amount, but there's enough to keep me going, because I'll probably end up sleeping, and I know that Robert's already started to watch something, looks like Young Sheldon by the looks of it. See how kind of like I don't know, like barren it's because it's a volcanic, all the volcanic you can kind of see all that brown is essentially that's what that is. That's why it sounds like that. We made it. We look like absolute death warmed up. Look at the bags underneath my eyes. It's currently what, half nine or something like that? Yeah. Quickest we've ever been through security. It's five to ten, actually. Oh, is it five to ten? Oh my god. But it was a straight walk through. The longest thing was walking from the plane to actually getting your bags. That's a really long walk, guys. So just be prepared for that if you're coming to Terminal C. Um, it's very quiet. We just probably go this time of night. So we've been given directions to get our car hired because you have to go to another terminal to get it. Fingers crossed we're getting it right. <coughs> we've never been to Terminal C before because it's a new terminal. So we're hoping for the best. Um, but we're just hoping to get back to the hotel, dump our stuff, get something to eat and get to bed to be honest because we have been on the go since early this morning. Hello. Hello and morning everybody. Um, so we left you at the airport randomly. I know this is a time jump. We are in our room. We um, Next day. The next day. This is the next day. That's very true. Uh, so we got on the shuttle to the uh, other terminal, to Terminal B. Got our car. We've got a Kia something or another. We'll show you it. Um, then we made our own turning on the way back to the hotel. Uh, we drove down one road the wrong way, only for like about 
literally this bit I realised it wasn't a busy road, it was essentially like a, a tiny wee like yeah. street corner type situation. It was okay. It's the first time driving the USA. So we're going to make mistakes, but see to be honest, actually not that bad after about 10 minutes or so. Like it was okay, I was a bit more confident. We went to Miller's across the road, didn't we? Yeah. It was good. It was good. You had a few beers. Yeah. Um we will do a room tour later on if you want. Yeah. We're staying at the Rosen Inn at Point. We're just heading to Walmart uh, to get a couple of bits and bobs. And then we're not really sure what we're doing today. We're just kind of having just a gonna roll it, having a chill day, um, that kind of thing. So we'll see what happens. It's currently. Yeah, it's 10 to 1. 10 to 1 in the afternoon. So as you can see, we've like just been chilling and getting ready. I've got really long, thick hair, so it took about a year to dry my hair this morning, which is good, really good. Um, so, cool. so we're off to Walmart. Might take you with you. We'll see how it goes. Um, so we killed in the room for the rest, uh, for most of the afternoon after coming back from Walmart. Oh, there's the all important. Buzzer, because why? I'll go and grab it and then we'll come back, okay? Meat lovers. Meat lovers. Or meat eaters. I've all just got like chicken, meatballs, uh, red onion, green pepper, barbecue drizzle. I put barbecue drizzle in yours as well, by the way, but I'm sure it'll be alright. It, it, it was complicated and they were busy in there, so I just let them go with it. Yeah, so it was good. I uh, still enjoyed it. Uh, definitely come back, maybe, before we go back home. Yeah, I really enjoyed it as well. Um, 100%. It was devoured within seconds, I think. Yeah, we were pretty There is no um, left. Yeah. So we're going to finish up our drinks, which are obviously super large, you know, because it's American size. And then we're heading to World of Disney um, because we want to get some new magic bands. Well, our old ones are antiques, so I don't think they work anymore. I mean, they might, but you know, there's some been upgrades happening. Yeah, well, but we never bought them with us. Yeah, we know we didn't. We? <laughs> I may have told Robert that they didn't work because I wanted new ones. <laughs> you can tell he's not impressed by the look of his face. Oh, it's Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, they've been I don't know how many years old they'll be but right. This is twenty sixteen. Aye. There we are returned from our Disney Springs adventures with two magic bands. I've got the blue one, Robert's got the black one. They were twenty dollars each. Um I was gonna get one of the fancier ones, but like forty dollars for a magic band. I'm thinking it does the same it, thing. I know, so it does the same thing. Um, it's been a good relaxing day for us. I think, see, because we've been here a few times now, like we don't tend to run about doing hundreds of stuff. Oh. We don't feel the need to anymore. Um, so it's been good to, to relax for today. Tomorrow we're going to Magic Kingdom, so look yeah. forward to that. I'm going to do a quick sweep of this room so you can kind of see what the room's like at the Rosen Inn at Point Orlando. I'm sure people have seen it before, but just in case you've never seen what it's like here. Yeah, we've stayed here past four times, yeah. all the times we came. It's a really friendly staff, great hotel. Uh -huh. It's not the most modern, no, like... The rooms um, are basic, but uh -huh. uh, it's clean and it's comfortable, so... And it's all you need, really. Yeah. So, are you doing the guided tour, Robert, or am I? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's the front door, this is where you come in. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've got two double beds here, we've got a safe, a wardrobe, store, uh, uh, we've got uh, a microwave, fridge, coffee maker. He's speeding uh, through this, isn't he? Um, um, it's got all the, all the mud corners in the bathroom, right. half toilet. So, shower. Toilet, all that kind of stuff. There's a hair dryer. I've not used it. Robert has. Yeah, was... There's tea and coffee making facilities there. Microwave, fridge. Uh, there's plenty of towels. Yes. 
uh, you do get an iron and iron board in your cupboard. You do also get uh, coat hangers um, down here. You have USBs. Oh yeah. So they're here, and there is a plug also behind there as well for you yeah. to use. Um, on this side, there's a plug down here. You can see I've got an extension cable, and I'm using that for all my kind. Of, what I've done is I've just put one American plug, and then I'll plug all my UK things into that when I do need it. Just to ignore my pajamas, and then there's more a plug there um, as well. So you've got plenty of options um, for plugs and the such, um, which is quite good because. You find some hotels they don't, and that's quite annoying to be honest. Yeah. Um, we're going to chill. We're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. It's a party night, Magic Kingdom tomorrow. We're not going to the party, incidentally. Yeah. Um, but what we might do is we'll go to Magic Kingdom tomorrow for a wee while. We are aware it's a Sunday, it is the Easter holidays in the UK. It's probably going to be busy. But Easter holidays? Not Easter. <laughs> October. I mean, <laughs> Joe, we're supposed to come at Easter. And so I've had that in my head. Um, yeah, Easter two years ago. <laughs> Easter for the last two years. <laughs> uh, this has been a long day. It's been a long day. Um, this is the first time also we've had this time difference for a while. I think my brain's just decided yeah. to. Um, I still so, can't go over it. I know. So we are going to chill. We're going to go to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Might even come back for Rupel and then jump to another park because you can park up after two. Um, Tonight we had our first experience of something that was really cool um, is the find my car thing on the Disney app yeah, so my Disney good. experience app you just, it goes by your bluetooth and your location um, so the park, location. In, in you mm -hmm. but in your driving, in your license plate as well no it doesn't, it? no so you just, and if it doesn't you just input your details yeah. and then it saves it for you and then you can look it up but um, I'll take a picture of where it is as well because that's always good to know. Um, so we're going to go now. We shall see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Time to buy. Sun is coming up. Are you ready to go? We can take a ride. We can take it slow. No, we'll lose my law. I'ma let you be the boss. Cause I'll go where you go.